We're on. Right. Question 10, the final question. Use algebraic division to express this fraction in the form ax plus b plus cx plus d over that stuff. Right. Um, there's, there's no choice here. There's no good trying to do comparing coefficients or anything else. The question says use algebraic division, so we have to use algebraic division. That means x squared minus x minus 6 into x cubed minus 2x squared minus 4x plus 13. Now I know there are a few different ways that people do algebraic division in terms of where they write things. We know that we're looking for what we times x squared by to get x cubed. That would be x, <coughs> giving us x cubed minus x squared minus 6x. I think it's really helpful to put a bracket around that and a minus sign in front of it to remind us, because it's so easy to go wrong on this bit. Minus 2x squared minus minus x squared, that means we're adding x squared, so we're going to have minus x squared as our answer there. Quite a few minus 3x squared appeared there. Minus 4 minus minus 6, and we've got the 13 that comes down there. What do we multiply x squared by to get minus x squared? It's minus 1, which gives us minus x squared plus x plus 6, subtracting, again really careful with the signs, 2 minus 1 is 1. 13 take away 6 is 7. Um, we've pretty much got three marks in that, but we've got to interpret it correctly. So that means when we do our long division, you get the whole bit, and the remainder is a fraction of what you are dividing by. So when we put this together, this means we've got the whole bit, the answer x minus 1, plus the remainder is a fraction of what we were dividing by. So that's how we've got to write it, and, and really we should write what we've just done with that. So it's that that gives us that answer. And that that's, was quite a nice four marks, but well, we've got to get that the right way around because it's going to affect what happens in the next bit. So now we're on to part two. Hence, find that integral. Give your answer from the form a plus ln b. So we now want to integrate that between what were the limits? Four and six. Okay. Um, so the word hence was in there. So we've got to use that to start with. Hence means that this is the integral of x minus 1 plus x plus 7 over x squared minus x minus 6. Now let's, let's think through. We've got to the end, the last question on our core 4 paper. And it's, it's integration again. And, and what have we done? Well, we've We've done plenty of standard integrals, we've done integration by substitution, we've done integration by parts, we've done um, an integration using a, a trig identity, we have to use that in the different equations question, we've, we've done a, a question involving recognising the top is derivative of the bottom, that was in that, that differential equations question as well. There's only one left that we haven't done, so that's a big clue. So this is partial fractions. Um, we need to integrate this. The top isn't the derivative of the bottom, so it's not that straightforward natural log one. We've got to go into partial fractions, so we've got to just look at this bit. Leave that bit for now. Just look at that bit there. And that's, we're going to have to differentiate, that, integrate that using partial fractions. x plus 7 over, well, x squared minus x minus 6 is x minus 3 times x plus 2. So that's a over x minus 3 <coughs> plus b over x plus 2. So we now need to do our partial fractions thing with this. Which 
we multiply through by the denominator, it looks like that. We pick our values to substitute in. Uh, they're going to be x equals minus 2, giving us 5 is b times minus, minus 5. So b is negative 1. The other one would be 3. Sub in the 3, we get 10 is 5a. So a is 2. And so the integral now becomes, back to the integral, it's the integral from 4 to 6 of x minus 1 plus 2 over x minus 3 minus 1 over x plus 2 dx. And now we can just deal with this one term at a time. Integrate x, x squared over 2. Integrate minus 1, keep it as minus x. Integrate 2 over x minus 3. Well, that's 2 times the natural log of x minus 3. Integrate minus 1 over x plus 2. That's minus the natural log of x plus 2. Between 4 and 6. And we, we're just about there. We're left to put in our values. Um, do I need to put these all in? What have we got? 18 minus 6 plus 2 ln 3 minus ln 8. Take away 8 minus 4 <coughs> plus 2 ln 1 minus ln 6. And we, um, what have we got? 12. Take away another 4 would be 8. Is that right? And then we've also got. Um, well, actually, what have we got here? Should we take another stage with this? It would be nice if we had these as just single 1 times ln or something. So this is ln 3 squared. We're taking away ln 8, and then we're, uh, natural log of 1 is 0, we've got minus minus natural log of 6, so that's plus natural log of 6. Um, and we've got 8 plus the natural log, what's that? 9 times 6 is 54, <coughs> divide by 8 if we have top and bottom. 27 over 4. There it is. All done. That's maths. <laughs>